Okay, what we want to do now is actually update our data. Because again, our survey is going to be constantly getting updated and we don't want to re-perform those steps every time. That's sort of the point of using Power Query. So let's go update our data. There's two methods. One, the save over method where I can save over my original data. And then there's the change data source. So first thing I'm going to do is go to data. Go to queries and connections. And go edit. Okay, so right now I have 46 rows. All right, and I'm going to go check the data source connections. My current file is in my sample survey results is the name of the file. It's in this folder here. Okay, so I'm just going to save over on top of it. So let me go ahead and do close and load. And for this example, we're going to use the 100. So you should have a little update data folder. Here's the original. Here is the sample survey 100. It's just called that. There may be more than 100 records in there. So I'm going to open this one up. And again, it looks just like the original. I'm going to do save as. And put it on top of my original. Okay, I'll go ahead and choose save. It's going to ask me if I want to replace it. I'll say yes. Okay, let me go ahead and close it. Just to convert, yeah, there's 100 to that count there. Okay, just making sure. Okay, now let me go back and refresh. See, 46 rows. I'm going to hit refresh. Now I have 100 rows loaded. And let me go over here to sheet three. Let's go ahead and refresh. Yeah, so now everything is up to date. Awesome. Okay, the other method is to change the data source. Sometimes people like to have the history, like this is what it was on this day. This is what it was on this day. So I'm going to go edit my data source. Go to data source settings. And this time I'm going to choose change source. Okay, I'm going to go browse. Choose my 250. And because the structure is the same, I'll have no issues. I'll go ahead and click OK. Choose close. I'll go ahead and do close and load. It's going to load my data. Now I have 256. All right, let me go here, refresh. You can use the save over method to update your data or you can change the data source. And remember, if you're connected to live data like in SQL or Access, where it's constantly being updated, it's just as simple as hitting refresh.